Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me I got the sauce, I got the remedy Say you my thaw, but act like an enemy I make a car and turn you to Kennedy I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy Shot for my confidence, shot for a Ever since this new NBA in-season tournament started, there have been a lot of crazy things that's been happening lately. Obviously, last night with Draymond really put, really KOing Rudy Gobert like he was back in, uh, like he was Baby Boy in, in Baby Boy movie. Then we got Anthony Davis pushing pushing a no name on the floor. Then we got before that got Anthony Edwards and Draymond Green going back and forth with each other. And then we got Giannis getting getting the tech for staring at somebody. This NBA in-season tournament has really exposed all of these NBA players' true colors. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. we back and give you another video. This, hey, this in-season tournament, I'm actually liking this. At first, I didn't know how it was. I, I really didn't understand how, everything about this tournament. But now the new layouts of the course, color coding and everything, with the matchups with the, with the teams, a lot of these teams that's matching with each other back and back and forth look like real playoff series, real playoff series. The T Wolves and Warriors, I can really see that being like a four fifth seed in the West. The Lakers and Grizzlies, if Ja comes back, because the Grizzlies are they're not that they're not good without Ja. They need Ja to come back. Because they are, they are terrible without John Morant. They don't have the chemistry. They don't have anything good going for them without John Morant. They obviously need him back. And it looks like they're really missing Dylan Brooks. They really are. And then we got the matches between the Bucks and the Bulls. And then Hawks, Pistons. These matchups are looking like real playoff matchups. I don't know about the Pistons, but I love that new that new rookie, Asher Thompson. Yo. Hey, I, I, I said the rookie of the year is between Chet and Wimby. Hey, Asher Thompson is trying to make his case. He knows how to play on both sides of the floor. He is really good. Both sides of the floor. He knows how to he knows how to rebound the ball. He knows how to defend at a high level. He brings that tenacity to the game. You saw the post that he did last night. He he's the real deal. And then we had the matchup between OKC and San Antonio. We finally get to see Chet and, and Wimby play. They were both dumpster juice garbage. They were both garbage. Terrible. But you're gonna have nights like that. They're rookies. They're gonna get. They're gonna get it going. They are definitely the future of this league. It's a lot going on this season tournament, ladies and gentlemen. This is why, I, like I said, they, it's really exposing a lot of these NBA players' true colors and the teams. Now, like I said, it's early in the season. We don't know how all how all teams are going to pan out. I know t the Timberwolves look for real. The Timberwolves are the number one defense in the league. I, I said it in my last video, Anthony Edwards is coming for that MVP. He's coming for that best player in the world spot in a couple of years. Anthony Edwards is coming for the NBA. He's really raw, actually. Then we got the Lakers. When they, you know, LeBron was, was coming back. He was available for this game. He played a little bit of minutes, about like 15 minutes, I believe. Anthony Davis really dominated defensively, and he had an okay performance offensively. But the role players, D'Lo 
and Rui Hashimura. I was waiting for Rui, Rui Hashimura to turn on and get get going because he's been having a he he's had a slow start for the year. He's had a slow start. I've been watching Lakers. That's one of the games I've been watching is the LA Lakers, and Rui Hashimura has been having a slow start. Cam Reddish has actually been playing better than Rui Hashimura, to be honest with you. But Rui Hashimura really played well in this game. D'Lo has actually been consistent lately. And Austin Reeves will get it going. He's another one that's going to, that's, not, that's having a slow start. He's going to get it going. But Anthony Davis played great on both sides of the floor. Um, but AD, if he can stay on the court, that's his thing. And we're not worried about that push on, on that no, no name. That I don't even know. I forgot his name. Okay. I forgot his name. Desmond Bain is one of the most ir irritating players in the NBA. Even though he got a he got a nice shot with him, he knows how to shoot the ball and he knows how to score. He's been scoring the ball, but that's not that's he got to. Who else is going to score from Memphis other than Jaron Jackson and maybe Marcus Smile a little bit? Not really anybody else. They actually miss Dylan Brothers and the Houston Rockets. I will talk about the Houston Rockets in another video. I'm impressed with what I'm seeing from them. I'm impressed. Now Milwaukee, Milwaukee, New York are iffy right now. Especially Milwaukee because Dane and Giannis are still trying to get co cohesive with each other a little bit. They Dame's always off to a slow start. I'm not worried about Damian Lillard at all. Damian Lillard is one of my favorite players in the NBA. I'm not worried about him. Dame is always if y'all really watch Dame play instead of just watching the highlights and stuff. I know Damian Lillard always gets off to a slow start starting the year. He gets going literally after Christmas. Damn near after the All Star break, that's when he really gets going. That's when he really, really becomes unstoppable, dropping sixty points every uh, like every other game, at least fifty to sixty points. We're gonna see that Damian Lillard maybe after Christmas. Giannis is taking over right now. Chris Middleton has really been struggling, and that's gonna be the key for Milwaukee is Chris Middleton, because if Chris Middleton doesn't really get going, Milwaukee's gonna have a hard time versus Boston. They need Chris, they need to find out a way to get Chris Middleton going because he's got he's obviously making the most sacrifice because they have Dame now and he's still trying to figure out how to really play with Dame and Giannis and and Brook Lopez and Bobby Portis and losing Jay Crowder is, is a big loss. Phoenix it's another team that's off to a slow start, but I believe they'll get they get going. They have a lot of injuries. Like I said, this this in season tournament, like I said, Draymond wants to fight everybody. AD pushing players on the floor. Giannis getting text for just staring at people. We have these rookies outperforming a lot of these these veterans out here, and we got Boston being Boston, and Anthony Edwards putting the league on notice. Hey NBA, this was a great idea because. These matchups are looking like playoff matchups and how the the intensity has arose. This end season tournament is really exposed to a lot of things. That's all I gotta say for this video. If y'all like this video, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all for all for the support for the last couple of videos. I really appreciate it so much. I really do. And if y'all want to Share this video to your friends and family out there. We welcome to and appreciate y'all tuning in this video. Be on board well.